Good day, lovelies. Join me on this three-minute tour of Assisi. Before we start, don't forget to hit subscribe so we can travel lots of places together. Assisi is in the rolling hills of Umbria in the center of Italy. When you get off the train, you hop on a bus that quickly takes you right up the beautiful pathway road to the middle of the town. There are plenty of places to walk around here. It is large but quaint. There are many small alleyways to discover. There are plenty of places to walk uphill and uphill and uphill. It's a hill town after all. It is just beautiful. You'll always find gelato. You'll find pastries, so you don't have to worry about starving while you're exploring. I promise you'll be well fed. This town has its fair share of churches, all different sizes, all different shapes. If it's cold, you can sit inside and warm up. If it's hot, get out of the sun. If it's rainy, get dry. Reflect and enjoy the day. Get all your little things organized. There's always a seat for you. This particular church right here is San Rufino. If you go inside, the floor has glass on it. You can see that down below, there is a museum. If you have time, go and explore the museum. It's a great half hour or an hour. It's really fascinating. Definitely worth your time. Of course, if you're in Assisi, the main attraction is the Basilico di San Francesco, the Church of St. Francis. He lies in state underneath this church. You can go down and visit him if you'd like. It's a beautiful church. It's two stories, not counting the underneath part. And you can sit in there and reflect for a good amount of time and just enjoy all the artwork that there is. Speaking of artwork, as you walk through town, pay attention to all the art that you can find in unexpected places. It's as though someone hid something there just for you to discover. It's always fun to see what you can find by looking in corners and around places that you wouldn't expect. I find that to be fascinating. I don't know, it makes me feel special. I particularly like frescoes, and they are in abundance in Assisi. And I just love wondering what they were like when they were originally done. They just draw my attention. Outside the city, you'll find plenty of paths in the hills and in the woods, just to walk in the day and just to think about what you're discovering. If you want to go for a nice walk to San Damiano, is about a half an hour, pretty much straight downhill from Assisi. It is a convent and a monastery. It's very peaceful. People go there for a respite. It is there in 1205 that St. Francis heard the Lord say three times, Francis, go repair my church. And he began to do so. Thus began his ministry. This restaurant, although I don't normally talk about restaurants, is Piazzetta dell'Erba. It's just off the main square in Assisi. The food is fabulous, creative, not overly expensive. It's nice to splurge once in a while and have something special. And then when you're done, it'll be about 9 or 9.30, and you can enjoy the sunset on the city, and that will be the end to your perfect day in Assisi. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.